Over the years, Microsoft has released a number of banger operating systems, like Windows XP and Windows 7, just to name a few. But there's one ugly duckling that often gets left out of that list. Microsoft topped off five years of development work with the launch of Windows Vista in countries around the world this week. Well, Windows Vista is the platform that almost the entire industry builds on. Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer says that sales of Windows Vista have indeed been disappointing. See, I never really got to use Windows Vista as a kid. It had outrageous hardware requirements just so it could run its glossy aero interface. And my $5 Pentium 4 PC that I bought at the recycling center, uh, wasn't gonna cut it. But now I'm a full grown man. I don't know why I did that. With an iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is thousands of times more powerful than my $5 PC. But does my iPhone have what it takes to run Windows Vista on it? I guess there's only one way to find out. So here's the plan. First up, I'm gonna download a copy of Windows Vista. I'll then install an app called UTM. Technically you can download it in the app store, but we're gonna try something a little fancier. It's gonna take a bit of tinkering, but theoretically it should be possible to install Windows Vista on my iPhone. Yeah, baby! Ah, uh, okay. So you may be thinking, installing Vista on an iPhone is kind of outrageous and a little bit pointless. To which I would reply, yeah, it fully totally is. But over the last few months, Apple have actually made it possible to run emulations on iPhone. UTM is this wild app that lets you emulate the hardware of a bunch of old devices, which means you can then install operating systems on that hardware that's being emulated. Now we've used UTM on the channel here a bunch of times and never did I ever expect that it would run on an iPhone. Theoretically, you could run Mac OS on an iPhone. You could run Windows 7 on an iPhone. It's actually kind of nuts. You can do it right now. You can literally go to the app store on your iPhone and download UTM. However, if you were to download UTM from the app store, you would have noticed a little SE next to its name. The SE literally stands for slow edition. And I'm pretty keen to get this working quickly because not only do I want to install Windows Vista, I want to see if I can run Minecraft on Windows Vista on my iPhone. Is that overkill? <laughs> now in good news, there is another version of UTM, a version that has unlimited unlocked potential, if you will. <laughs> but to install onto your iPhone, you have to use something called Alt Store. See, at least from what I can see, Alt Store is a really simple and clean way to sideload apps onto your iPhone. And from what I can tell, the app itself is legal, but obviously you don't want to be downloading pirated games and things like that, because you will get in trouble from someone. I, I don't know who, my mom. My mom will come find you. <laughs> but I'm going to try and use Alt Store to install UTM on my iPhone. Let's give it a go. Uh, I was going to document the process of installing Alt Store onto my iPhone, but it took like three seconds. So here we are. <laughs> I've never seen a more clean app store other than the iOS app store. So we just need to add a source. Here we go. Oh. UTM, it's right there. This fully flashes me back to the old days of jailbreaking iPhones, getting random repositories to try and find games. It's, yeah, it was a sketchy time, but I was 13 and I thought it was the freaking best. Because UTM can emulate so many operating systems, they created this great library of pre-built setups. But it looks like Windows Vista ain't there. Windows 7, Windows 11, Windows 10. Windows XP, hmm, let's think about this. I'm probably gonna have to work out how to do this manually. I do not have to work it out on my own because Skibbity Tech, <laughs> right. Skibbity Tech made a guide on how to install Vista on UTM on the phone. So let's follow this through and see if we can get it happening. I guess there's literally nothing to it, but to just do it. <laughs> so let's start it and see what happens. It crashed immediately. It crashed immediately. JIT was not enabled. So here on my Mac, I just have to go enable JIT, UTM, and then hit it again. That didn't work either. Aha, okay, so I messed up. Uh, pretty big actually. See, I have iOS 18 running on my iPhone and unfortunately, Alt JIT, which is how we get JIT enabled on the iPhone, only goes up to iOS 17. Oh baby, we are going down the rabbit hole now. So, now if you're like me, you're probably thinking, what the heck is JIT? <laughs> JIT, or just-in-time compiling, is a fancy technology that converts an app's code into machine instructions at the time that they're actually needed. 
I kind of get what that means. I don't really get what that means, if I'm honest. Look, all we need to know is two things. Firstly, it makes running apps so much quicker. And it's our way of getting UTM to run way quicker on the iPhone. And the second thing you need to know is Apple don't allow JIT natively on the iPhone. Unless we jailbreak my iPhone, things are gonna be slow, but it could be another way. So here's where we're at. We need to install JIT onto my iPhone so then we can then use UTM to install Vista so that we can maybe run Minecraft inside of Vista on my iPhone. Easy peasy. <laughs> so to install JIT on my iPhone, I need to use this thing called Side JIT Server. I've, this is this is way out of my league. All my time working with the Rabbit R1 has prepared me for this moment because we're using Python, baby. If you're wondering, it literally just sits at the bottom of my drawer. There it is. I just need to run this to check that it's working. It is not working. <laughs> now let's do this. Nothing's happening. Hey, okay, that's installed. Oh, I need to plug in my iPhone. Set up shortcut. Yes, that's it. I don't know, man. I just followed that GitHub thing blindly. So in the shortcuts app, I can press on side JIT and I can choose UTM. Network lost. I wonder if I've set up something wrong. That's a joke. I definitely set up something wrong. <laughs> Oh, okay, I got it working. <laughs> awesome. Let's run Vista. <laughs> no freaking way, dude. What the heck, man? That is such a trip. I actually can't believe that. That is so wild and so unnecessary. Oh, bro. <laughs> Not enough hard drive space, rookie error. So I think it was worth all that hassle to get JIT working to start it up again. Uh, yes, I'm not an iOS or an Android user. I'm a Vista user, so... <laughs> oh my gosh, it's installing, dude. What the heck? Outrageous. That is so silly. So unnecessary, but so legendary. It's so sick. I think Vista is installed <laughs> on my iPhone. <laughs> We are just waiting for Windows to set up a few last things. Oh, I can't wait. Completing installation. We are getting steps closer to Minecraft on Vista on an iPhone. <laughs> I just need to quickly set up an account. Here we go. Start. Yoo-hoo. <laughs> no, don't tell me we made it this far. No, come on. I don't know what it's doing, but it's working. Welcome. Windows Vista Home Premium. It's good to be here. It is good to be here. Windows Vista on my iPhone. <laughs> it has been a long time since I have used Windows Vista. I recently installed Windows XP on my sister's trashy laptop and that was such a throwback and such a crazy experience to see it again. Now, I don't know if this connects by default to the internet, so let's just open up Internet Explorer and find out. I forgot it had widgets on the side. Bro. <laughs> what an absolute throwback. Okay, it's an explorer connecting. Wait, is it actually connecting? No, it's actually, no, okay, it didn't connect. <laughs> See if we can do Minecraft. Yep, the internet works. What the flip? Don't worry guys, I got Bing working. So stupid. <laughs> Look at that man. What, what are you actually using this for? So I guess the only thing left to do is to find out if it can run Minecraft, which means we have to install Java. Shoot. <laughs> So here's the deal. To install Minecraft on Windows Vista on my iPhone, I need a way to get files from my Mac into Windows Vista. Okay, I haven't had a lot of luck uh, trying to get files over to my iPhone. So instead, I created an ISO of the files that I need and I'm gonna see if I can mount that as a disk drive on the virtual computer. That's my theory anyway. I'm back in UTM and I'm gonna try and mount the disk. Oh, boom, okay, great. We're gonna start off with Java. Let's see if Java installs. No way, dude. That is so silly. Dude, my iPhone is getting warm. Let's try and run multi-MC. Multi-MC freaking loaded, dude. And it looks like it's reading Java. It's... Yes. All right, so we now need to see if we can add my Microsoft account. Please work. No. Dang, dude, not loading up. See, one of the biggest issues with older operating systems is they don't really support new internet standards. Put simply, the internet just doesn't really work the way it should. And in this case, the Minecraft launcher I'm using isn't connecting to Microsoft servers, which makes it super painful to log in and download Minecraft. But ah, I had to trick up my, sleeve, my sleeves. Using this software called Legacy Update, I was able to get Vista compatible with modern internet standards. Let's open up Multi-MC again. 
Let's go to profiles and let's do manage accounts. Add Microsoft. Yeah, baby. We are now signed in. Come on. Getting authorization. Oh my word. We're in, baby. We're in. It tells me 1.2.4 ain't gonna work. Like, let's go all the way back. 1.8.1. Why not? Let's take it all the way back. What an OG time for Minecraft. Let's try and run it. Bro, why isn't this working? Damn, so close, but so far. Yeah. yeah, no matter how hard I tried, Minecraft was just not loading. And it's pretty easy to understand why. I'm trying to run a Java app on an outdated operating system on my iPhone 14. I guess not everything has to run Minecraft, hey lads. Ah, uh, hold the phone. Literally, hold the phone. Because I have Minecraft running on Vista, running on the iPhone, come on. It is currently running at one frame per second and it's technically not Minecraft, it's Classic Cube. However, it really doesn't get much better than this. If you want to see me struggle to get Minecraft running on a bunch of other random things, check out this playlist. And hey, thanks for watching this video. Peace and blessings.